Queen Destructor has issued a challenge. One card race against her own team of champions. Winner decides the fate of the world. When our heroes arrive, the track is swarming with monsters and destructors racers are flying overhead. As they start their engines and transformation sequences, they remain undaunted. Because this is just a normal Saturday for the racing stars. Welcome to my playthrough. Hey everyone, this is Sarathekos, back with another game, and today we'll finally do another print play again. This has been a while since I've done that, and today we will play Racing Stars. Subtitle is Magical Girl Card Racers. Sounds a little bit strange, but this is actually a pretty fun game, so we will play that today. What we need to do so is the sheet here, we need a set of polyhedral dice, and also we need a color for each of these racers and before we start with the game i will just assign one color to each racer all right all right so now we have a color assigned to each of these racers um the pens let me just put them down here and we will then use them whenever we, oops, need them. All right, so how does this game work? This game works like this. Um, I don't need the D20 for now. I'll put that up here. So how it works is I roll all these dice and then I assign one die to each of these races. And the races start here. You see the beginning of their name here, the first letter. Then I draw a line with as many spaces as the die is showing. So could be like could be like a 12, could also be a one. And then at the end, I put the, the letter again, so I know which line belongs to which girl, but I will actually do it with colors anyways. And there are different things we need to pay attention to. First of all, we can only have a 90 degree turn once per roll, so to speak, and once per race up. Also, if we get a star, we can use any of these special skills um, after one or three stars have been picked up. We can fight monsters if our speed, that means the number we rolled, is higher than the force, uh, th than the power of the monster, eight or ten here, for example. We can only fight a monster twice with each racer, and also we can lose hearts. Um, if we go into such a zone here and our speed is less than this power here, and also we um, can cross the finish line at the end. Um, after each die is resolved, we cross out one timer and after 10 rounds, the game is over. And then we tally up the points. We get five points per fight we engaged successfully. We get one point per star we picked up. We lose five points for each heart we lose. And we get 10 points if we reach the finish line. And that's pretty much how the game goes. So I suggest we get started right away. All right, do you see all? Yes, you, you see all dice. So we have a four, four, twelve, six. Okay, so let's see. Um, I think I would like to concentrate on one specific racer that I would get to the finish line as soon as possible. Let's just take Nightingale here. I mean, that fits her hair, right? Um, she's going to be at the... She's gonna be the here, um, and then we have a 10 here. Give that to, well, actually, let's do it like this. Let's have Nightingale and Fate, those two as the most, as the fastest ones, and then we will do it like this here. All right, and now we start with the lowest die, which is that one with the four here. So we take our blue marker, I uh, know, we take our red marker and then we look at zipper here and she's going to go four. So I will just go four with her straight ahead, I think. So um, one, two, three, four, and then she will be here. All right. So that one is done. Then the six, we have two sixes, so I guess we can choose. So we will take Misty first. That's a six, blue. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine, Misty. And then we will take Nightingale. 
no, Loxley first. That's green. So that's six. Uh, let's see, I would like to get like a star maybe. So let's go one, then two. If we do a 90 turn degree, we have to do one of these vortexes here. Three, four, five, six. I think that's not too bad. And then she gets a star here. Okay, then we have a 12 over there and a 10 here. So let's do the 10 first here. So, and now she will go through that line here. And if she does, she's drafting, so she gets plus one speed. So, one, two, then one extra. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then let's go eight, nine, ten, like this. Okay, and now we need to take nightingale that's a um that's a 12 so one two three four five six seven we will do a turn here eight nine ten eleven twelve like that she will get a star and now it says all races get your power this turn um that doesn't really work because we have um this turn is over so I don't quite know what to do with that, but we will see about that. Okay, and then we actually have our first round. We could read our first round, and that's how it continues. Okay, let's roll all, all of these dice again. So let's see, I wanna really get ahead with Nightingale. 10 is good because she can actually go through that monster here. That's not bad. So I will probably give that to her. Fits again with her hair color, I suppose. How about, what about her? Two, four, five, six? Like a six at least would be good for her. So she could get a star. She could get a star or a zipper. Giving zipper a star would be good too. That would be a six also. So let's give her a six. Misty, like a six or seven maximum. Well, four would be fine too. Four would be fine too. Um, and then we have those both threes. That is fine. All right. So then let's start with Loxley three. So with her, I will just do it pretty simply. Oh, I didn't put the L here at the end. Um, so one, so just one, two, three, and then there she is. That's fine. Then we will take fate. That's gonna be a three also. So one, two, three. She's here, so she will also get a star. Then we have Misty has a four. One, two, three, four. That's Misty here. And then we have Zipper. So with Zipper, we can't move to through the star here anymore. Um, that's not gonna work, but um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can we somehow get a star for her? I don't think so. But I will go in this direction, this general direction here and see, maybe we can get that star here. So one, two, three, four, five. Then let's turn here and then she will get another move because she was drafting like this. Zipper, oh, that's close to that monster here. Okay, so it's a little bit risky what we're doing here because we need to have a power of at least eight next round to go through here, but let's see about that. So Nightingale has a 10. Let's get her another star at least. So um, that's a 10. Oh, we forgot to put her letter there. And she can steer through here no problem because of the monster. So. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the one because she's drafting. All right, perfect. And we got that star again. So all races get her power this turn, but well, she was the last again. So that probably doesn't matter. Okay, so let's continue. So we need at least a an eight for zipper. We can do that by giving her the 10. 
so she can move through that monster thing without being being hurt that's not too bad um she we also need to collect some stars with her for her because then she is faster all the time that's not too bad um so and about the others it doesn't really matter too much um nightingale let's give her a low number this time so she can get another star here by the way we forgot to fill in the second star for her here like that okay and then we have five five and six i think it doesn't really matter who gets what two four six yeah let's give her six well no she needs a lower number one two three four oh she can't get into one of these monsters so let's give her the four then let's give her the four i suppose um give Loxley the six ten then let's give those two a five okay that should work okay then we will start with fate that's a four so we will go one two three four and well actually she is now here with the monster so she will lose one heart because she's there with the monster yeah that was a little bit bad so that's not very good all right then the next one uh let's take nightingale and misty let's start with nightingale so um she has a five so one two three four and then we go five and she would be there and she has the third star that is pretty awesome but i don't want to use her special power i still don't quite understand it to be honest all right and then we have misty with a five mm, so how can we do that well let's let's get her up here because otherwise she will run into the monster and we don't want that so let's one two three four five like that okay and then we have loxley um loxley has a six so one two three four five six and she gets a star that's pretty nice and then we have zipper a 10 that's great because she can move through the monster then so one two three four five six seven eight and then we will move through the monster here nine ten that means she defeated that monster so let's color in one of these swords so we know we def she defeated a monster and also she will get a star so from now on she will always get plus two to speed that's nice all right that was actually our third our third round so we didn't color in the timer last time all right we're pretty much one third through almost okay so what do we have here we have a 10 3 11 4 2 okay so with her i want to move through here to get that star and then maybe even defeat a monster so she needs at least a 10 two four six eight ten would be enough so let's give her the ten nightingale two four six eight ten twelve well giving her a high number wouldn't be too bad either but then again zipper needs to go through here let's give zipper the 11 and we will be quite calm with all the others two three we will give Loxley a three, Nightingale a four, and Misty a two. And I think that works pretty well. So we will start with Misty. Misty will go two. That's it. Then we have Loxley with a three. Loxley, one, two, three. 
Then we have Nightingale with a four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Then we have Fate with a 10. Oops, with a 10. So what we will do now is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we defeated that monster. Next turn we get another d20 with her because we got a star here. So that's bad because we would have gotten... Oh, and this turn we get a d20 too because we got a star last time. So let's do that because we get a d20 this turn also for fate. Nice. That's another seven. Great. So... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. How do we do that? Well, let's go here, I suppose. One. Oh, wrong color. Wrong color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And she gets another star, so I suppose we get two d20s next round. I hope I don't forget. I will put the d20 here so I don't forget. Okay, and then we have zipper. The last one. Where is she? Down there. She has an 11, that which is great because she can defeat a monster too. And she gets one more because she's drafting through Nightingale's line. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then here. 9, 10, 11 and the 12. No, she can only defeat one monster. So we will just continue upwards. Sorry. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, and then she will go here, 12. So this line doesn't count. Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot about the races only being able to defeat two monsters together. So that's it. She defeated both monsters. She didn't get anything else, and that's it. All right. So we finished round four. And let's go. We really need to get a few into the into the goal over the goal line because then we get ten points each. So, um, fate has so far defeated only one monster. She can defeat one more. She gets two d twenties. Additionally, that's nice. So monsters, we need at least a ten or an eight to defeat anything. That's not gonna help a whole lot. Let's give fate a very low roll let's give her a two because she is close to the finish line she's almost done um then let's get zipper into the goal so i think i will give her the maybe the eight does anybody need to defeat one of these spider monsters well how about nightingale one two three four five six seven eight nine that would work actually she could defeat that monster here so let's do that and then about the others, I think it doesn't really matter what they get. Let's get Zipper. Um, let's give her a higher one. And two and three. Let's just... It doesn't really matter. Well, Loxley will have an issue. Because she will definitely get hurt here with the spider. But that's okay. She still has some hearts left. But there's nothing we can do about that, no like this oh and she will get hurt too well that's the way it is i suppose yeah i guess there's not much we can do there okay two loxley let's start with her so two but she will draft three so three one two three loxley is here and she will unfortunately lose a heart nothing we can do about that then misty same thing pretty much she will go three one, two, three, and one more for the draft. And she will also lose a heart, unfortunately. Um, then we have Zipper. Let's get her fat. One, two, three, four. So she's over there, like that. Then we have, oh, we forgot the two. She would have gone first, but doesn't really matter. So one, two. And with her, we have two more d20 rolls. Let's do those. 15, which is enough to kill another monster. Ah, she can't kill another monster. 
but she still can oh she can still kill one more monster but she can't get any more stars but she can kill a monster so that should work right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yeah that's definitely enough to go all the way into the finish line and also kill that monster on the way so she did really well she did really well she still has a d20 which she cannot use and she is also at the goal line well actually i think we need to go one more to actually cross the goal line but we still have one d20 left so there we go 12 that's fine so fate is done and also we used that die with her. So that die is now removed from the game because she that was the die we used for her. And she is now done. So that die gets removed. So we only have these four dice left. And now we do with Nightingale. Nightingale is orange and we have an eight. So she can get that spider monster one two three four five six seven eight and one more for the draft so she killed that monster over here that's nice killing monsters always gives five points which is pretty nice okay that was round five we're halfway through let's continue so now remember fate is done Okay, so now I would like to get into the goal with Zipper. So let's give her something high maybe, but let's see here. So none of these need to defeat any monsters. Zipper can't anymore. Nightingale could, but not here. There are no monsters here. She can go through here. That's fine. She can go. Okay, so what we will do is the spider monster needs eight to get through at least. So what we will do, we will give Loxley an 11 so we, she can defeat that monster over there because that needs a 10 at least. So she can go through there and kill that one. We will give Misty an eight so she can defeat that monster here, right? Well, actually let's do it the other way around. Let's give Misty the 11 and let's give Loxley the 8. That should work. Yeah, that rather works. Okay, and then um, let's see. So Zipper is almost at the good finish line. We can actually give her just a 2 because she always gets plus 2 to speed. That's fine. And then we still have Nightingale. She is over there and we could give her an eight, I guess. Yeah, I guess we give her the eight. Why not? Okay, so we start with Zipper. Zipper gets a two. One, two. That's already it. Then we have Nightingale or Loxley. Let's take Loxley first with an eight. Um, so she will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then she's here. She defeated that monster nice then we have nightingale eight yeah let's just do one two three four five six seven eight one more for the draft like this and then she we can try to get the star next round maybe and then we have misty with an 11 and she will try to get that monster up there so one, two, three, she will get two drafts, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and she gets four drafts. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. Um, so I could steer with her multiple times because that's what it says. Can steer unlimited times. She defeated a monster and that works nice so that was round number six four more rounds guys let's get these ladies over the finish line so with nightingale two four six like six maximum 
Let's put a six there for now, but a five would be fine too. We don't have one, so okay. So zipper, um, well, we, oh no, we don't want the star with nightingale. We want it with zipper actually. So let's give zipper a three because she gets plus two to speed anyway. Oh, we didn't give her plus two to speed last round. Well, I forgot about that, so whatever. Um, Misty, we will give her a low number two, I think. Two, four, six, seven. Actually, no, let's give her the seven over here because Loxley, oh, yeah, there's no monster anymore. So that's fine, Loxley will get the three. Okay, that works. So let's start with Loxley, three. One, two, three, like this. She doesn't get any damage because the monster is dead. Then we have Zipper with a three. So um, that's one, two, three, plus two to speed, four, five, plus that draft, six. And she gets that star. That's pretty nice because you get some really cool combinations with more stars and all the drafting later on. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool concept, actually. Um, six. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, right? Then she's there. Oh, by the way, ignores monster defense. I could have ignored that monster defense with her, but since she didn't lose any health anyway, that's fine. And then we have Misty with a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus that one draft. Then as Missy is here and also gets a star. And we finished round number seven. Okay, we are very close to being done. Let's get Zipper and Nightingale over the finish line if possible. So let's see. Oh, where is everybody? We have Misty over there. Misty will have a little issue with a monster here, so she we would give her an eight. Here, that's an eight. So we will give Misty an eight for sure. And she can also defeat that monster while she's at it. Two, four, six, eight, two, three. It's possible that she gets hurt over there. It's possible. Not quite sure yet. Let's see. Then, well, she can steer unlimited times. So that's so that should work somehow. Then we will give the other dice. We have a nine here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. That's enough for Nightingale to be across the finish line. Two, four, two, four, five, six. We don't have a six for Zipper, but she gets plus two to speed. So four is fine. And we will give Loxley a five and that should work pretty well actually okay so let's start with zipper she gets four plus two that's six um do we cross the finish line with her we could also collect another star well no let's get over the finish line one two three four five no let's Cross the finish line next round with her. Six. Let's give her that star. Okay. Then we have Loxley. If she gets one more star, she can defeat a monster anywhere, which is another point. So that might be a good idea. So she has a five. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Loxley. Like that. And then we have... Misty with an eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two drafts, and one more draft like this. Let's get her down here for now and see that we can maybe give her a 10 next round. And then we have a nine for Nightingale. And with her, we can just cross the finish line. There is one more monster here, but we would need a 10 for that. Oh, ignores monster defense, but she can't, still can't kill it. So we are just gonna cross the finish line with her. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, draft there, and then Nightingale over there. So with her, we are done too. Nice. That die is removed from play. And we finished round number eight. All right, so Misty will get hurt because we can't get her out of here. But we can maybe get given get another star. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven at least. That doesn't work. So we can get her pretty much anything. Doesn't matter. Let's give her a five, whatever. And then who do we have? We have Zipper. Yeah, Zipper needs a low number two because she's almost the finish line. And then we give, where's Loxley? Loxley is down there. Yeah, we will just give her a six and see where we go from there. Okay, so let's start with Misty first. One, two, three, four, five. She unfortunately gets hurt once. Then we have Zipper with a five. All right, so Zipper cross the finish line. That dies removed from play. And then we have Loxley with a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, four drafts. One, two, three. Now I'm a little bit confused, but I guess we would get her here. So Loxley will get her last star. And that means she can defeat one monster anywhere which she will do. Um, let's let her defeat that one just because it's close by. Okay, so and also with Loxley, we crashed into Misty. So Loxley will lose another heart, but that's not too bad because we're almost done. Okay, and now we are in our last round. Let's see how that works. Four and two. Can we get anyone over the finish line? No, we can't. And we also can't collect any stars. We can't defeat any monsters, right? Not really, no. Well, then whatever. Then it doesn't really matter who gets what. So Misty will just go two with her and then drafting Misty. And Loxley, we will give her a four. One, two, three, four and draft then we would probably go over here like this and that is pretty much it and now we will and now we will um calculate all the points so let's start with all the all the so let's start with all the uh, monsters we killed that's one two three four five six seven eight so that's 40 points how, um, how many stars did we get? Three, six, seven, ten, thirteen. That's almost all of them. Thirteen. We lost three, five hearts. So that's minus twenty-five. And we got three over the finish line. That's thirty. So that's forty, fifty-three, fifty-eight points. So all together we got fifty-eight points. Which is, I think, quite okay, actually. Um, I think if you try to maximize everything, um, you should get around like 80 to 100 points, I estimate. Let's say you get every, let's say you get everybody um, into the, over the finish line, that's 20 points more, it would be 78. And then if you didn't get the minus points here, then you would get about 100. And I think that would be almost perfect score. So I think, yeah, about 100 would probably be the pretty much per the almost perfect score. I think the perfect score would be around like 110, 120 maybe. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That was our game of Racing Stars. Actually a very fun game. It's much more fun than I initially thought. Um, it is. It gets quite confusing later on with all these lines and everything. Um, and I didn't do it very cleanly later here. So um, if you do it a little bit more clean, like I did in the beginning here, pretty much, then I think it can go even better. But a very fun game. 
this game is actually free for download. I will put the link in the description, so um, download it for yourself and try it. And if you do, let me know in the comments what score you get. All right, if you're still watching, thank you very much for sticking to the very end. If you like this kind of content, why don't you drop by my channel and check out the other videos. Maybe leave a like, comment, or even a sub subscription there. That'd be great. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. All right, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.